So hi, I'm Seb Grinke. I'm a game designer at Microsoft Studios working on D4. So for those people who aren't familiar with this franchise, can you start by talking about what it's all about? Yeah, sure. So D4 is an episodic murder mystery game. It's directed by a game director called Swery, who's a cult game director. His last game was Deadly Premonition. And it's developed uh, his studio, Access Games, in Osaka, Japan. For this game, can you talk about where... Let's start with the art style. It's very unique, cell shading. Yeah, absolutely. It is unique. We really wanted a style that um, stood out and people could look at that and just say, oh, that's D4, right? So we wanted something that was different. We didn't go after photorealism, went after this look that we have. When it comes to the Xbox One, how are you guys utilizing its technology? Um, so the game runs at 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second, first of all, and the art looks great, and you have a split screen in there as well. Um, but really, it's all about the Kinect. So while you can play the game with a controller, um, it's really designed for seated tracking with Kinect and voice recognition. How do you guys utilize those two things within the game? So uh, Dan here is playing the game right now and he's actually sat in a kind of pretend living room. You can see he's got a coffee table, he's quite close to the TV, but he's able to complete the whole adventure and uh, just controlling it using his hands while he's sat down. You guys have designed this so you don't have to stand up the entire time. Yeah, you don't have to stand up at all. You can sit down and relax, you can have a drink, you can have some popcorn, and you can have that movie experience, but it's completely interactive while you play. Talk a little about the storyline and what's going on in this particular sequel. Cool, so uh, the game is about a detective called David Young. Um, he has had an incident where he now has a bullet lodged in his brain and he's suffering from amnesia. But he's gained this weird power where he can time travel using uh, objects called mementos that have a, like an emotional resonance in them. So he's trying to solve the murder of his wife using this power and uh, hopefully go back in time and prevent it from actually happening. When it comes to some of the different time periods or environments, what will people be exploring? Um, so you'll start off in some kind of dream sequences to set the tone, and then you'll be in uh, David Young's apartment in Boston. He's an ex-Boston PD uh, detective. And you'll kind of have friends come over and talk about the case, and you can have clam chowder with your friends. And then you can uh, use one of these objects to time travel back uh, to an air flight. So that's where Dan's playing right now, he's on an aircraft. And uh, like solve a case on that aircraft, and then come back to your uh, apartment and carry on. So you'll be jumping around from like the present to different places in the past. What is the actual gameplay experience like? Um, so fundamentally it's an adventure game, but there are action sequences too. So you'll be kind of exploring, solving cases, figuring out clues, talking to people, using voice recognition to talk to people. And then uh, there'll also be action scenes where you're fighting or involved in other action elements. And for fans that have played the previous games, how do you feel this game was pushing things forward? I think the big thing is really the use of Connect, you know, like being able to sit in your sofa at home in a relaxed way and play the whole game that way is really new.